Hello everybody. I know it's been a long time since I've posted anything. Last thing I posted was uh, my Super Star Destroyer model kit that I got from Bandai. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. Um, you know, you and your family are all healthy and safe. Um, it's been a while, obviously, and times being what they are, that's, I'm sure you can understand. Um, all the hobby stores and, and pretty much everything's freaking closed, you know, for obvious reasons, except for, you know, grocery stores and anything that your community might consider, uh, essential. So, I also wanted to welcome any and all of my new subscribers. As you know, I don't really beg for subscriptions. I don't do anything, I don't post anything for any kind of monetary you know return I just I just enjoy doing these little videos um, you know my videos are pretty low-tech compared to some of the other people out there mostly I do things just maybe give some ideas maybe show something that you might have been considering but you weren't sure if you wanted to do it or maybe I've done something that's, you know, or done something to a model or, or whatever that's given you ideas. Well, that's, you know, that's about the, about the gist of it. Anyway, so as you can see, I've got me one of these U-Gears wooden model kits. Um, train, <laughs> obviously. For obvious reasons, I like trains. I'm into trains. I saw this. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, this U Gears, I got again. I got this on Amazon. It was about seventy-five dollars. Um, this U Gears is actually a company out of the Ukraine, believe it or not. Um, they've got some other kits. They've got other things that you can buy. You know, U Gears is its own brand, but there are some other model companies out there that are doing wooden kits and they've got all kinds of stuff i've seen cars and tanks and and whatnot um, um it even has a little sticker that shows you when it was manufactured <laughs> anywho so i've never done one of these i did do a wooden clock one time and let's just say that did not go well i had nothing to do with the the clock or the manufacturing of the clock or anything like that it was probably more due to me me <laughs> um so you can see they they give you these sheets there's about six or eight of these little thin plywood and they're they're laser cut um yeah pretty cool huh um, you see, whoop, there's the instructions. It's all plastic wrapped. There's the instructions on the back there. Um, let's see what else they give you here. Looks like rubber bands, because apparently this thing is self-propelled, so they give you in the mess of rubber bands there. Um, this here, I believe, is just wax. Um, it's for, like, lubricating the gears, obviously. You get some toothpicks and a little thing of sandpaper. So I guess there is a tiny bit of sanding to do. And that's pretty much it. You basically just you pop the pieces out of the out of the the sprue thing here and put them together. And no glue, no paint, no no nothing. You know and Again, it's supposed to be self-propelled. That's why I said I believe that's what the rubber bands are for, because it's a wind up and, and go. Looks like they give you some track. You can put it on some track, but it doesn't look like, you know, that much. Just mostly a display. It's, it's a model, it's a display model that actually runs and it's got some cutaway. So you can see the inner workings and and so on and so forth. So this is gonna be my 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 project here. Um, for this installment. Um, come here. There. I'm still holding the camera by hand. I went to Walmart to get a tripod of some sort, and they were completely out. So there you go. See, 
Sorry about the shaky video, but, you know, I said my stuff is low tech. I don't use any freaking, you know, editing software or anything like that. So that's your basic unboxing. I don't really go into detail in the unboxing. It's a white box and it's cardboard and and brown on the inside. And some folks go into their unboxings and they get really detailed. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it uh, as far as as far as you know unboxing. So I'm going to get into it a little bit, and I shall post more videos as I go along and give you my comments and and my opinions on this this kit as well as you know I'll, I'll be showing stages as I go um, so again um, I hope everybody's doing well and I shall see you in a bit